What can I say? Kind of called this one, didn't I? Uh, we predicted this bloodbath, okay? It's why I'm wearing red. I mean, honestly, a few hours ago, this shirt was pure white. But it's been bad in the markets if you're a bit clout holder. If you're clouder, Steven Clouder, um, you're not having a good time, okay? It was crypto's fire fest. Look, they promised influencers, they promised the world, and they delivered on pretty much nothing. Today, it's almost like a post-mortem. Listen, they're still holding on. They're still holding on by a thread, but the writing's on the wall, ladies and gentlemen, and we're going to talk about it right now. Let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the $10 million studio. I'm your host, CoffeeZilla, the internet detective. And today we're talking, of course, about BitClout. Guys, it was worth $177 when I covered it in March. Remember, that was around when they launched. The current price of BitClout is $73, giving you an ROI, if you invested, of negative 59%, which I think is just swell. Some of the best you see these days. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, just remember, and this is really important. Let's bring down the board here. Um, this is a coin here that was backed, or should I say platform? They call themselves a social platform, decentralized social media. They were backed by some of the biggest brains in the world. The guys who are on top figuring out what the next trend is. You got people like A16Z, Jamath, the Winky Twins. They all collectively decided that it was a good idea to trust the guy their leader, who goes by the name of Diamond Hands. Well, turns out it actually wasn't. Now, there are about a million metrics you could measure the um, failure of BitClout by, not the least of which is the price, but I think the worst metric for them is clout, ironically enough. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a um, graph of their search terms, and as you can see, they've just slowly sort of been sliding into obscurity both on Google and more broadly, people just aren't interested in it. People really just aren't talking about it the way they used to. And I think part of that is we'll start with the failure, why it failed. I think part of it's due to the rocky launch where they just stole a lot of people's identities. I don't know if you guys remember that. They took the top like several thousand uh, public profiles, took their Twitter profiles and just threw them on the site and let people invest in them before people even knew they were being used on BitCloud, which led to some pretty ironic results. Like right now, even now, the top creators of all time on BitCloud are people who have not joined BitCloud. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the number one invested profiles are Elon Musk and Naval, who both, thanks to that little clock icon, have not joined. They have not okayed their likeness and their public persona to be used by BitCloud to make money, but here they are, the number one and number two. It's completely absurd. And I think that their vision of like this decentralized um, social media, which I actually think is kind of a good idea, I think it really got overshadowed by this hustle for money. Because look, I've spent a lot of time on BitCloud just looking at what people are saying. I don't have any BitCloud, but I, I just like watch. Just I'm interested. What are people talking about? And honestly, it, it's Twitter, but worse. I mean, on Twitter, yes, everybody's self-promoting. But on BitCloud, everyone's self-promoting so you'll invest in them. So you'll invest in their creator coin. That's why anyone's on BitCloud or why most of them are on BitCloud. They're so they can get rich on BitCloud. So everything's like about like, self-promotion times 10 to the max. And it's just kind of cringy. It's like just everyone's constantly pitching to you and no one thought of like the normal user's experience, you know, like non-famous people, you have to get them on board. Why are they going to join when everyone's constantly like shilling to get your money? I don't know. It was this really weird thing uh, when I realized that that's what this had sort of become. Kind of had bad incentives from the start, a bad launch. But ladies and gentlemen, since this is a post-mortem, I also think there's something else we all need to look at here. Um, and that is what BitCloud did with all this money they've made. Remember from my last video, we talked about a wallet that BitCloud got that got basically $200 million in Bitcoin from people who were trying to invest in their silly new idea. And they successfully raised all this money but I think the question is, what are they doing with that money? Well, according to Decrypt, this is from several months ago, uh, Diamond Hands did an interview with them. They're talking about, at the time, it was only $170 million in stash. I know, 
kind of a joke, right? But anyway, Diamond Hands assured Decrypt that neither he nor BitCloud's developers would use it to pay themselves, saying their financial incentives are instead tied to the success of the BitCloud token. So basically they have, now it's like $200 million, uh, all this money sitting in a bank, uh, Bitcoin wallet, and they said, guys, trust us. We're not, hey, <laughs> hey, trust us. Don't worry, we're not gonna do anything with it. <laughs> and that's of course when they were telling you guys they were decentralized. They're a decentralized organization where they control the keys to where all the money is, right? That's how this works. But I think we have to watch these guys because I think they're gonna do something with that money. They're sure not gonna let it sit there forever. And um, just recently, they started moving a bunch of Bitcoin out of it. They have before, but I think this is the largest amount they've moved out since. They moved out 599 Bitcoin out of this wallet with all this money. By the way, 599 Bitcoin is about 28 million dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so yeah, exactly, chump change for these guys. <laughs> so I tried to trace down where some of it was going. Here we go, I put, put together a little map here. This is the wallet that where all this money was. They, As you can see, they sent 598 Bitcoin here to this wallet over here. Um, and then that wallet was then sent that same money over here. We double click on that. And then as you can see, this wallet now sends uh, Bitcoin to a number of different addresses, 221 Bitcoin here, 360 Bitcoin here. But anyway, the point is we have no idea where this money's going or ultimately what it's being used for. That's the great thing about having a founder who's anonymous, right? Is uh, you don't know what they're gonna do with the money that they've raised and you can rely on their promises all day that supposedly they're not gonna take a paycheck but we have no idea what they're gonna do with this money. Diamond Hands apparently said that they had uh, plans to do use the Bitcoin stash for good, but he declined to say if such good would come from donating the money to a Save the Whales style charity work, oh boy, or from starting a foundation to promote the BitCloud token, which other projects have done in the past. Guys, we don't know what he's gonna use it for. That's the point. And the other point is that $28 million just got moved from that wallet, and I'm sure a lot more will get moved soon as well. Because frankly, ladies and gentlemen, BitCloud's days may be numbered here. They started really high, as we said, huge launch because everyone thought these huge influencers were on there. Turns out they weren't really, and the, the ones that were just wanted to make a, a quick buck off their followers. And then it just kind of stagnated, and then now the coin is crashing. So uh, with that happening, it'll be interesting to follow that wallet and see where that money's going. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, that's basically all I wanted to cover for this is let you guys know what was going on. I got to say, kind of called this one. Hope you guys didn't lose money. Thank you so much for watching. Save your clout. And I will see you guys in the next one.